Shalom Bracha, we'd like to wish you well, all the best. I hope that Be'at Hashem you will have good, good, uh, good uh, holiday. If you go to the vacants, safe trip, peace in the Middle East. Be'ezat Hashem. There is a beautiful story. Sometimes Hashem, He has ways how to wake up somebody to do Teshuvah. Hashem has a lot of ways how to wake up somebody. Sometimes even through stranger. The Gemara said there was a, a man, his name is El Azab and And always this man who will spend a lot of money for women. And he saw, uh, you know, uh, a publicity of a woman from Lebanon that uh, she, she accepts to go with people with a big amount of money, with her picture, beautiful woman. This is a story of the, the Talmud tell us. And Azar ben Dodaria, when he saw the picture of this lady, he took money and he crossed seven rivers. Long way. He arrived to the place, he made an appointment, and of course, when he was inside, she saw that he was a Jew. His name is El Azar. She told him, You, a Jew, you want to have to be with me? I'm not Jewish. Do you think Hashem will accept you one day? He will accept you, Teshuvah? Incredible. He was shocked. El Azab and Dodaya were shocked. A woman, a prostitute, talking to him like that. He went out. He went to the desert. He started crying. Hashem, help me. Please, mountain, moon, sun, sea. Pray for me to Hashem to forgive me what I did. And then he said to himself, It's me who should do Teshuvah. It's me who should pray for myself. And he started crying, crying, and he died. Before he died, a voice from the Shamaim came and said, Rabbi El Azab and Adaya, the doors of Gan Eden are open for you. Rabbi Noah Kadosh, who was a big tzaddik, the one who wrote Mishnayot, he heard this voice from the Shamaim, and he started crying. He said, wow, this El Azab and Dodaya, he was a big Rasha. And for one minute that he did Teshuvah, they accept his Teshuvah, and they give him Olam Abba. And not only they give him Olam Abba, but they give him a title of Rabbi, Rabbi El Azab ben Dodaya. When I saw this beautiful story, I said to myself, can you imagine? Sometimes Hashem, He sent message to people to do Teshuvah. Even this prostitute, instead of to shut her mouth and just get paid and that's it Hashem used her to tell him that as a Jew God cannot accept your teshuvah because of what you do my friend a lot of times Hashem is send us message but we don't listen to them we, we don't want to we don't react to this message. 
El Azab in the Dayah he did. His reaction was he wanted the Teshua and his Teshua was accepted. How much every one of us should, what's going on today with the war? It's a message for us. Maybe we need to be, to do a big Teshuvah instead of having war, World War III, maybe Mashiach will come. And that's it. That will be like the war of Gog and Magog. Mashiach will come, please. Hashem. If just we, we listen, we react to the message that Hashem sent. May Hashem give you a and Hashem bless you. Amen. Thank you.